A A, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your very own animated pixel art in no time at all for absolutely no cost. It'll be similar to the examples I have on screen right now, so if you want to learn how to do that, this is the perfect tutorial for you. Before we get into it though, if you guys could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel, it would mean a ton as we're trying to hit our end goal of 100,000 subscribers. If you like NFT related content or crypto related videos, this is the channel for you. So hit that sub button. With that out of the way, let's get right into this tutorial. So huge shout out to Pixel Art for sponsoring this video. This is the website we're going to be using. I've made multiple tutorials in the past using Pixel Art and it's my favorite website because it is so clean. The UI is so easy to use and user friendly. And additionally, it is free. So no, you don't have to pay for any pesky Photoshop fees. None of that but everything here will be free and we'll only be using this site for this entire tutorial. So to get started, click the link down in the description and it'll bring you to pixelart.com. First thing you wanna do is create your canvas. Today, we're gonna be working in a 64 by 64 canvas. And I feel like this is the best canvas to use when making animated art, because if you go too small, there's not enough you can do. So this is a 64 by 64 canvas. So the first thing I like to do when creating animated pixel is making the background. Today we're just going to have a simple background with a blue sky and some green grass. You can do that by hitting the bucket tool and then finding whatever color you would like using the color picker and then you can just paste it onto the screen by clicking the middle of the website. If you want to be more specific, you can use the brush tool right here or the pencil tool, which goes pixel by pixel. So for the brush tool, we're going to add in that grass. Let's get a nice green color here and bam. Now we have some pixely grass that looks okay and this is a fantastic base for our nft to be on another useful tip is if you ever mess up on screen like this you can just hit Control z on your keyboard and that will undo it Alrighty, so let's get started on the actual nft layer today we're going to be creating a bunny so the first thing i do is create a new layer by hitting the plus icon right here and then i like to look up examples of the animal just to get a good idea on how to create the art I'm sure most of you guys who are watching this video have already created your pixel art and are just wondering how to animate that and we'll get to that later on in this video. But for now, look up examples on how to create this pixel art animal. So I'll usually just look up the animal I'm trying to do and then pixel art at the end and you find some really good examples and ideas of how you want your art to look like. Obviously, you have to make it unique. You don't want to just completely rip someone else's art, but I want to do something similar to this. It's not super complicated, but has enough details that we can animate it. So I'll pull that up on my third monitor and then I'll get started on creating this bunny. So on that new layer, we're just going to start with the outline of the bunny. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be in the middle direct center because we can fix that later on in this video. Now a really awesome addition that pixel art has is that you only have to create the one half of your NFT. So what you want to do is go and hit the select tool right here by hitting S on your keyboard or clicking right there and then dragging over your pixels. Make sure you're on the correct layer. Hit control C on your keyboard and then control V and it will paste this right here. The next thing you want to do is go to tool and then flip vertical. And as you can see, it's a flipped version of what you originally made. Then all you have to do is slide it in place and bam, there you go. That is how you get a symmetrical side in one second. And that way you save a ton of time and don't have to redraw the entire side all over again. Also, something you can do is use the bucket tool to fill in spaces very fast. So let's say I want to fill in this blue spot where the bunny fur is supposed to be and I want to get like a nice little pinky white color like so. You just hit the bucket tool and it fills everything in. Alrighty, so the next thing I like to do in my pixel art is add some shadows 
to the art itself. This is incredibly easy to do. Just hit the light and slash darken tool, set your strength to uh, 0.2, and then you just want to do the outside layer of the art collection that you have. It's important when you do it, you don't wrap around the edges like you see right here. I'm not going to hit this pixel right here. It just looks a lot cleaner if you do it without wrapping. That's just my personal opinion though, and if you want to do it, you can. Art is very subjective and everyone has different styles, but that's just personally how I do it. Alrighty, then you want to set the strength to 0.1 and do the exact same thing. As you can see, those shadows look really clean. We can add some to the feet as well. Alrighty, so the next thing we're going to do is actually center this because as you can see, my art is towards the left and I don't want that. I want it to be in the direct center. So I'm just going to click the select tool right here. That's going to select everything. So I can just hit the move tool right here. And if you just grab the layer that your NFT is on, you can just hold anywhere and then you can drag towards the middle. So now our bunny is nice and centered right here. We can get to the fun part in animating it. Now there's two super common animations in NFT pixel art that I see. The first is the background changing, which is a lot easier in my personal opinion. And the second is actually moving the character itself, which is also relatively easy. I'll first show you guys how to do the background since it's a lot easier to do. So we're going to animate this background so that the sun rises and then it turns night and then the sun rises again, basically in a loop like that. So I'm actually going to hide my character NFT really quickly by hitting the sidebar and tapping that. And now we only see the background. To make this animation easier, I'm going to create more than one layer. So I'm going to have a layer that is just the background with that blue color. Then I'm also going to have a layer that is going to be the grass. Next thing I'm gonna do is go to this filter tool and just spice up the grass a little bit. I just think it looks a little cleaner. You don't have to do this. But now we have a grass layer in our background layer. The last one we need to add is the sun. Okay, so we're going to create our sun right here. I'm just going to use a circle tool and I'm going to make sure to add that new layer. Now we have the sun and I'm going to drag this layer below here by hitting the move layer down. Now we have the sun and it's below the grass. And basically it's going to move up and then when it moves up the sky is going to turn dark already so let's start this animation the first thing you want to do is go to the bottom and hit add frame this is going to be our default frame right here then we're going to want to delete that white frame and then hit copy frame then we're going to drag this sun up and then we're going to copy the frame again we're going to keep dragging this sun up and then we're going to copy frame again and i'm sure by now you guys understand what i'm doing now if you want it to be really fluent you can go pixel by pixel so like one up new frame one up new frame this will make it look super seamless that's not what i'm going for i want it to be like almost pixelated so we're gonna have a lot less frames and that's also due to just this video would be like two hours long if we did it that way but you are always welcome to do it like that now we're going to add our dark color by adding a new layer right here and then getting that dark sky that we wanted we're going to hit the bucket tool and bam now it is dark and then we want to add another frame by hitting copy frame and then we're going to slowly change the darkness with each new copied frame we do so something like this and then we we just want to repeat everything over again so as you can see this is the original color right here and it's going to scroll through this timeline if you don't understand i'll show you the preview right here it's going to be at 100 milliseconds so it's going to be extremely fast but you guys get the idea we have that moving sun background now if you want to change the speed, all you have to do is click the 100 milliseconds, and I think like around 250 is usually a good millisecond time. So we'll change all of them to 250 apart from the black sky, which I'm going to keep at like 500 just so it's dark for a little bit longer and we'll see how that looks it should look a lot better so bam as you can see that looks awesome and then when you have that bunny layer in with those backgrounds it's going to look phenomenal so the next thing we're gonna do is actually change the bunny and make it move this is incredibly easy to do and a lot of examples the animal or the nft will just go up and down in a bouncing motion that's what i feel like looks best but you can be really creative if you wanted to make like the ears flappy when it goes down i'm 
I'm not that skilled of an artist, so I'm just going to show you how to make the movement, but that's definitely something you could do and you should definitely keep that in mind. So what we're going to do is go to the select tool and then hit lasso. And then we're just going to get the entire body, but the feet. So we're, I'm just going to drag and then make sure I don't get any of the foot layer in this lasso. So as you can see, I successfully avoided the foot. Then I'm just going to drag below and bam, as you can see, now we have a bunny movement. If I drag up, this is going to be the animation. So now we have one that's down and one that's up. If we check the preview, this is what it looks like. It's already looking fantastic. I'm going to add one more frame just for reference. So we're going to go to copy frame and then I'm going to do the exact same thing with that lasso tool. I'm going to grab everything but the feet and then I'm going to drag up this time. We're just going to go up by one. Then we'll need to fill in these spaces that we missed. So there I filled that in and then I'm going to have to re-add that light in and darken so go to the point two get the outside and then point one now if we go to our preview you'll see that we now have a clean seamless motion then we're just going to change around the background so that there's a background that moves as well with this bunny. So we're going to repeat what we did at the beginning of this tutorial. And bam, as you guys can see, we now have all our layers with the different lighting. And we'll hit preview and we'll see how it looks. So as you can see, that is amazing. It looks fantastic. You got the night and day transition with the bunny moving up and down. Like I said, you can do a lot more variation by changing the bunny ears or even changing like the bunny mittens obviously your example probably won't be a bunny it's whatever creative idea that you have but hopefully this tutorial helps you out and you understand the process now on animating a pixel art nft well guys that's going to conclude the video for me if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the latest and greatest nft content also leave a like on this video check out pixel art i'm sure you guys already have and a peace see you guys later